Night. Oh, 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 got him. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Don't bite me in the face. That has to be one of my favorite snakes on the planet. Ooh. Fall in. Oh. Yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, look at that baby wild retic. How cool is that? Oh, what, like a month old or so. Oh, oh, how cool is that? Oh, baby old. Guys, check this out. You're not going to believe what we just found dead on the side of the road. I'm not big on filming roadkill. But this is an indicator of what lives in this area. Look at this. This is a massive blood python that got hit probably sometime this morning. Look at that snake. I have a size 12 foot. Look how big this snake is. That is a wild blood python. Let's see that pattern. Oh, no. What a shame. David and I have been driving for probably eight hours total now. We have another two hours to do, and then after that, 12 hours. Pythons are one of the hardest things to find out here because of the skin trait. You can see why these animals are sought out for their skin, just like Burmese pythons or reticulate pythons. They have the most beautiful pattern, and sadly, they fall victim to the skin trade. Look at that. Such a beautiful animal. Hopefully, we can find one alive on this trip. Not good. No. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made a little pit stop. David and I are at a spot where we can actually go on a kayak through a little river and try to find mangrove snakes sleeping during the day. So there's a little pit stop on the way to find the redheaded crate. I think it would be great to find one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Near guarantee mangrove snakes and big ones. Awesome. Some red tail racers as well. That would be dope. So if you guys want to come check out mangrove snakes in the wild, come check out little Amazon down here in Southern Thailand. Awesome. How do you guys like my crock bite? Now it's ready for YouTube, no blood. Good stuff. Are you ready, David? Deep into the Thai swamps. Guys, look, we got monkeys jumping around all over. And then we got this little retic hanging out right on that branch, just a little baby. Let's see how it goes with these monkeys. These are crab eating macaques, the species I used to work with back home in Florida. And I much rather see them in the wild. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right in the 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Got him. Awesome. Look at that. Good looking one too, the big meal. Woo. Look at this. I've only caught one mangrove snake my whole life. The last time was with David in Southern Thailand. And this is a young juvenile. They can get like around seven, eight foot. Got a big meal on that belly. Probably ate something like a big mud skipper or a bird or something like that. That is so cool. What a beautiful little mangrove snake. They are rear fang venomous. They can't kill you, but uh, if you get a good gnaw on you, you could feel the after effects for years. You'll have maybe like a little bit of swelling or a little bit of a throbbing pain where you got bit originally. Didn't Jonathan get bit by one of these guys? And yeah. he still feels it till this day, a couple years later. Look at that beautiful mangrove snake. Big belly too, gorgeous. Look how beautiful that snake is. Look at its face, the yellow and the black. Oh my God, it's such an iconic reptile. I grew up watching TV shows and reading books and these were always the iconic snake in a reptile book. That beautiful Boega cat snake. And usually they'll, they'll pose their mouth open, do a big threat display, but this guy's pretty chill. He's a good guy, look how beautiful that is. My second wild <laughs> mangrove snake. We good? Well, you want to let him go? Yeah. All right, sorry to disturb you, buddy. Oh, you're gonna bite me now. Don't bite me. Come on. Come on, you go. Oh, that's, that's so cool. The, the first one I ever found was real skinny. Ooh, relax. He's gonna jump. All right, he's gonna go swim off to a new spot. How cool is that? Mangrove snake out here in the wild. Let's go see if we can find like a real big one. I can get like seven, eight foot. Guys, look how cool this is. Just going straight through the jungle on this river. Retics, mangrove snakes. You got mangrove pit vipers out here? No. Mm -mm. No? Oh, there's a, there's a retic right there. This one's in reach. Where's he at? Oh, a little baby. There's a bunch of babies out here. If he jumps in the water, he's gone. Yeah, this might be a little bit out of reach for me. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, we got another baby retic. This is the third baby retic we've seen. They are all over the place. He's just right there on the wire of the tree. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe he'll fall right on us. We just go under it. You want me to poke it and you catch it when it falls on you? Yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Baby wild retic, how cool is that? Oh, he's a little snappy. Look at that, how cool is that? Good job, David. Ooh, look at that, just a little baby retic. And it's baby season, so we're just finding non-stop retics all over the place. I wanna be real gentle, because oh, all these snakes, even though he's not gentle with me, they've all got a bit of a meal on their belly. You can see there's a bit of food right there. This is so crazy, so this guy, He's, ooh, he's probably only like, I don't know, like what, like a month old or so? Ooh, yeah, something like whoa. that. <laughs> and um, they come out of the egg this big. So this is the world's longest snake. They can literally get over 22, 23 feet long. I think the record's like 23 plus, 24 plus feet long. They are massive snakes. And they do happen to eat people once a year out in the wilds of Southeast Asia. But for the most part, these guys are elusive and they're hard to find. Ooh, that was a nice tooth in my finger. Ooh, the thing is these snakes get hunted for their skin like crazy, just like the blood pythons or the Burmese pythons. So they are protected species. And uh, the more you see of them, the better. The keystone species out here. All right, let's put them right on this branch over here. And let him continue on with his afternoon snooze. How cool is that? Retic just fell out of a tree right in my hands. That's why I love Asia. You're gonna go for a dip? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Guys, check this out, another mangrove snake. Decent size this time. Let's see how this goes. Hey, buddy. So these guys are nocturnal during the day, they're just resting up in the trees. Snake. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy. 
That is awesome. This is my first ever big, wild, healthy mangrove snake. Let's just try to get them to relax. Relax, relax. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Look at that, that is awesome. Look how beautiful that snake is. Such an iconic snake for reptile lovers. A beautiful array of black and yellow. Kind of similar to the, the crate that we saw the other day, but this is just a rear fang cat snake, a part of the Boega family. And they are so cool. He's got a little bit of a, ooh, you're pooping on me, you're musking. So snakes will musk poo on you when they don't want to bite you, because that's the last resort. Snakes really don't want to waste their time chewing on you, wasting their venom. Look at that, how beautiful is this snake? That has to be one of my favorite snakes on the planet. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, they have such an awesome threat display. Relax, relax. Are you gonna try and, and give me a bite? Look how beautiful that snake is. That is such a beast. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. What a gorgeous snake. And look, very reluctant to bite. Could have just bit me on the fingers, but just wants to slip away. Oi. Don't bite me in the face now. That's not nice. Oi. Don't bite me on the face. Don't bite me on the face. Be nice. Look at that. Ooh. That is amazing. And look, they have a very raised dorsal, kind of like a crate too. Ooh, relax, relax, relax. I know, I know you're not too happy with me. I woke you up. I'm sorry. I want to be your friend. That is so cool. And he's still not even a monster. They can get so much bigger. Ooh, how cool is that? Snakes in the wild of Thailand. Gotta love it out here. Right? You love it out here? Ooh, this is so cool. Snakes like crazy all over this river. Come check out Little Amazon down here in Southern Thailand. They'll take you out to see all the beautiful snakes that they have to offer. Let's get this guy into a tree. Let him continue on resting so we can hunt tonight for another meal. All right, you ready to go back to resting? Mr. Cat Snake. An interesting fact that uh, David was pointing out is that even though it's a mangrove snake, these guys are not found around salt water or brackish water. They prefer the fresh water. So this area is really not, is really, it has no salinity. It's pretty fresh out here. It's just like river rock water. So this is where you're gonna find a lot of mangroves. This is probably one of the best spots that David comes out to. Oh, I got a little bit of a, a little bit of my blood on him. Sorry, buddy. Nice to meet you. Wild mango snakes, how cool is that? Guys, check this out. We just released the mangrove snake right there. You can still see it. <laughs> yeah, he's right over there. And then bam, another mangrove snake the same size. They are all over the place. So the key, like David said, is fresh water. You find a nice river with fresh water, lots of trees hanging over. They love to sleep right up in these trees. I don't think I'm gonna mess with this guy, but I'll get you guys a good shot of him. Look at him. Nice to meet you, mangrove Merv. I'll see you around. All right, guys, we're about to head out, but I just spotted a baby mangrove snake, and I want to see it. It looks so cute. It's just a wee little baby right up on the front, sleeping right now. I'd love to get it to the head. Let me see. Oh, yeah, so cute. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Catch you. Oh, little baby mangrove snake. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that! Oh, oh, no, no, don't bite me! Oh, 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 don't bite me! Oh, don't, oh, 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 relax. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, he's musking. Oh, you're so cranky. You're, oh, you're just like your parents. Oh, don't bite me. Look at that. Oh, an adorable little mangrove. This has to be, like, what? Like a couple weeks old? He's such a tiny little baby. Oh, and he just got, got me on the nose. Tiny little baby. Oh. Good thing mildly venomous, and I'm not allergic to venom. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, cranky little boy. No more biting, okay? I see you're eyeing me. And you can, oh, oh, you can see right on the back of that head. They got a thick little head, so they do have venom glands. It just works a bit different from your vipers and front fixed fang to lapids. So they have to chew that venom into you for it to be a good delivery. Whereas a uh, viper can easily just inject like a syringe. Ooh, you are such a cutie. I don't appreciate the nose bite. But I did enjoy meeting you. Let's get you back into a tree, you cute little thing. <laughs> You're bleeding from your nose a little. That's not good for YouTube. Let's get that off. <laughs> all right, little guy. It was a pleasure to meet you. Love seeing little baby snakes. Oh, and you're going to do just fine out here in the wild. Just watch out for those monkeys. They're very mischievous. All right, here you go, buddy. See you later.
is that? There's snakes all over the place. This is such pristine habitat. Got to protect places like this. Ooh, all right, beautiful people. That's going to be it for this episode. Check out David's feed on his YouTube. Also, hit him up. He's doing expeditions where you guys can come out to Asia and see wildlife and its natural habitat. Exploreherpetology.com. Right here. We'll have a link. We'll have it on the screen. Guys, this has been the best trip ever. There's still more to come. We're on the hunt for the redhead crate. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll come across a king cobra. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay passionate about what you guys love and have fun with it. I'll see you on the next one. Baby, oh, already just got, got me on the nose.